Hallå och välkommen till dagens stream. Beklagar det är er sån 17 minuter för sen. Eh, sån går det när skärringen ska lag eh, med dag. Um, det och time thing och steak poteten bra nog det det är er vanskligt tydligvis. Ehm um, jag trodde poteten var nästan färdig. Och så var det mycket det i hela tatt så ja, det tog lite längre tid än jag förväntade. Så jeg har jag inte satt i lysen eller någonting. Jag har nästan inte sminkat mig heller. Um, ska vi se. Oj då. Jag var hej på mig om mascara. När jag först var på badet efter maten så vet jag kan ta på mig läppstift då. Så får det det då sån det är er lite vanskligt att se här. Ska vi se. Jag kan inte göra det någon mer större grett. Vi får ta det på feelingen. Um, jag vet heller inte ska kanske inte snack när det här er på med det här men Ser det jämnt ut? Läppan mina är er lite skev så den här ser jag liksom höjer upp uansett. Så ja, sminkesrym absolut. Tror man kunde ha brukt det här till blush liksom, men så bara ha bank bank och så bara Jag vet inte om jag <laughs> tör att pröva. Här det talt den är frist allt. Tryck det också ser något ut ansett. Nu måste jag göra det samma på båda sidan då. <laughs> Vad ge? Var det nu rör? <clears throat> Uansett, hoppas att det fint. Um, det är tänkt att säga när jag drev och på med labbstift. Vad är er mikrofon min för höj? Uh, Fördi. Tusen tack koffein. Du har abonnerat i sex månader. Oj. <laughs> Gratulerar. <laughs> um, jag tog upp kobla ut mikrofon min här om dagen och så idag så kopplade den in igen och så plötsligt la jag märkt att i upptagsprogrammet så var de där de här var mycket högre än vanligt för jag hade problem med att den är er ganska sån lav och så här måste jag driva och skrudda den upp och sån som här på streamen så jag har skrudda den upp på full pacing men uh, hvis mikrofonen har blivit högre så kanske det här er allt för högt för dokker jag vet inte det kan um, gott va så ja uh, vi ska spela Stanley Parable idag nu huskar jag varför jag gick in på Twitch det var för att ordna link till Discorden men ja vi ska spela Stanley Parable uh, det är er ett spel som jag har fått ta han ta han faktiskt av han blodud så det är er ju kärpesnällt Ska vi råda? Send now. Wi. Där. Då har jag sagt ifrån på Discord att jag är er live. Eh, <tøk> uh, er bra? Okej, okay. super Tedro. Och hej frassen. Välkommen ska du vara. Jag har på mig en sån uh, kul ganser idag. Det är er egentligen gubben sin. Uh, men jag har uh, adopterat den så Yes. Um, en av jag kan inte lägga sån lägg den på bordet på något vis för att då är det ont tänkt att säga. Si. Men det är er kanske grett för att det minner mig på att jag inte ska lämna på albuan som är. Så det är er fint. Um, Vad är er nåt mer? Jag skulle säga. Si? Tror jag det? Tror jag inte det? Egentligen skulle jag ha varit högre upp ska vara så men stolen min går inte trycker den går det här upp. Och så har det liksom inte löst att sätta ner kameran för då då ser du inte det söta lysen. 
Jag kan läsa satt den bitte bitte lite men Har varit det nog bättre? Jag vet inte helt. Um, det här är er en hemlighet som säkert ingen av er vet. Men jag har egentligen peiling kan jag hjälpa mig. Måste parten att jag. Ehm, lite bättre. Vi vi säger nog så i alla fall. Ehm, um, ägg kan ta fram spalle. Må jag ha på mig headset. Jo, jag har blivit på. Så. Jag följer mig alltid mycket söter när jag har på mig headsetet än ellers för det skjuler lite hur flott håret mitt. Ehm, <laughs> um, ska vi se då. Lydna på. Ehm, um, chattboxen är er på rätt plats. Eller är er den där? Jag lurer på om jeg må ha den der i stedet. Sånn. Da får dere se min flotte bakgrunn. Um, her er spill forresten som jeg har tenkt å spille på stream etter hvert. Uh, Rime og Hobb har jeg prøvd tidligere. Uh, the Hunter Call of the Wild har jeg sett gubben spill. Så det har jeg lyst til å prøve. Men i dag skal vi spille... Uh Har jag inte lastat ner? Nej. Nej. Stanley Parable. Ok, jag måste bara checka. Uh. Nej, vet du, jag tog faktiskt inte att lasta den ner. Jag var helt säker på att jag hade gjort det. Är så gud. Hallå Sannes Joyful. Kusten går det med dig. Hoppas du har det fint. Um, jag är er så nu att jag inte har lastat ner spalla. Jag skulle spela idag en gång. Så det är er ju fint. Uh, ska vi se. <tøk> Några reklamer. Ska vi se. Stanley Parable. Installer. Och det tar någon timme då. Eller mer som fyra minuter. I följe Steam. Så. Så det tar jag så jäkla lång tid då. Uh, här går det ganska grejt. Uh, <laughs> jag var ute och mokka snö idag och så något jag har gjort de sista tre dagarna för att driva ordentligt stia till katten runt huset och sån där typ av ting, stia till garagen och sån där. Och så så jag mot drivhuset och bara Det ser ut som en ruine, är det talt. Um, för det manglade ett par vindu tidigare. Um, och vi tänkte liksom okej, okay, men när det blir uh, lite uppehållsvär och lite mildare så får vi ta och liksom popp dem på plats igen och så tejpa dem fast eller något sånt där. Men uh, mesteparten av fönstren och taket var bort och den där stången som går i taket, den var sån och den var ting var brökke. Um, så det rätt så slett uh, först så törrt det inte så väldigt mycket ifrån för va. Men så har det kommit en del snö här. Och då har det liksom bara gitt efter. Uh, så det var ju gøy. Väldigt väldigt artigt. Uh, så idag då så har jag drivit och lampa det plattan som var helt laus. Uh, jag fick hjälp av gubben och så puttade vi dem i garagen och så hade vi ju lite inredning och sånt där och heldigvis så hade rydda en del för vintern. Um, så det var så mycket att ta med in i garagen. Men uh, och det var så pass ödelagt och det har varit så mycket problem med det att uh, Trustrimmen din sliter när du laster ner spelet. Den är er fin nå, men loader av och till. Oh, ok, var är jag färdig att lasta nu? Hallo Norwegian Fillboy, välkommen ska du ha. Um, men i alla fall drivhuset är er fucka. Uh, vi blir mest sannsynligtvis inte och reparera det. Uh, så nästa sommar så blir det inte något drivhus, något som är er 
fröktligt kärlek egentligen. Men uh, eller går det bra. <laughs> Um, vi har pyntet til jul i dag da, med unntak av juletreet og gardinene har ikke kommet opp enda. Um, jeg vet ikke om dere ser bak mig. Jeg har disse, skal vi se, der, og så har jeg der, og der, og så der, og der. <laughs> og så har jeg en sånn lys ting, men det er ikke lys i den. Vent da, har jeg batteri her? Nej, det har jeg selvfølgelig ikke. Hvis ikke, så kunne jeg ha satt lyset inn. Uh, vurderer å kjøpe nytt drivhus når dere får litt flere penger? Ja, uh, vi tenker det, og da tenker vi at vi skal kjøpe et skikkelighet. Fordi at det er ganske mye vind her, og det kan komme snø. Uh, men vi tenkte at det i alle fall skulle være noen år. Uh, det var jeg ikke ett år en gang. <laughs> så det er jo litt trasig, den sånn her... 5000 kroner eller hva det var bare shush, ut av lomma. Ikke bare det, men vi har gjort mye jobb med det, fordi at, eller spesielt gubben da. Uh, for han har jo satt opp uh, um, fundament. Fundament har han satt opp og sånn der, og festet det, og det er han som har satt det ihop. Ehm, um, og når det har vært i høst og vinter, så er det en del plate som har løsnet, som jeg og han har drevet og fuget fast. Um, og nå er det så ødelagt at det bare er ikke, ikke noe vits i å prøve en gang å reparere det. Det kommer bare til å bli samme problem liksom, neste år. Så ja, vi får uh, se. Hallo, Bluedud. Velkommen skal du være. Uh, jeg tenkte å si, dette er din stream. <laughs> og det er det jo på et vis, med tanke på at det er du som har kjøpt det spillet her til meg. Jeg hadde glemt å laste det ned da, men jeg har gjort det nå. Så, jeg må bare se, ser dere noe skummert inne på Steam? Nei, det gjør dere ikke. Skal vi se. Uh, jeg må også, for så vidt, finne fram uh, Twitch på mobilen. Det må jeg gjøre. Skal vi se. Jeg har også vært en tur i Tromsø, da. Og det var veldig trevelig. Jeg fikk møte litt venner og sånn, og shoppet en del bøker. Jeg vet ikke om dere ser i øverste hylle der. En god del av dem har jeg kjøpt i Tromsø. Brukt, da. Og så kjøpte jeg bok om begravelse og døden <laughs> og sånn åh oh, gud hallo koffein hallo velkommen skal du være uh, hallo Chris god sommer til deg også uh, kan du vise dere sånn ser den ut den døde boka jeg er veldig spent på den uh, den skrev vi av et par som bor på en kirkegård basically så det, det blir kult. Ellers så kjøpte jeg mye fantasy brukt på um, uh, Legoloftet, heter det. Så ja. Skal vi se. Um, tenker jeg skal la Hildur ta min stream i dag. <laughs> Men det er bra. Jeg liker i alle fall å stream, så. Kjenner sånn, åh, oh, første gangs. Sorry hvis det loader eller hakker noe. Uh, det tar heldigvis ikke så veldig lang tid, så jeg tror det går greit. <tøk> Hvordan ser det ut til dere egentlig? Jeg må se. Hvorfor er det bare en liten del av skjermen? Er det aspect duration, resolution? Det er den høyeste full screen. Um, overlay position. Er det aspect ratio? Um, 
aspect ratio. Widescreen. Är det här alltså? Vad ska jag göra sådana? Jag måste liksom se hur kostnaden blir. Aha! Sånn, kanskje? Gjorde det noe til dere? For nå er den cirka halvparten av skjermen. Eller mer enn det, for så vidt. Borderless. Hva er det vi sier? Åh! Ok, jeg tror det ble ok nå. Der! Hallo, Nattuglen! Velkommen skal du ha. Jeg lyder noe sånn fra spillet greit. Eller skal jeg skru det opp litt? Musikk. Vi får ikke lov til å skru det ned. Det er kanskje ikke noe... Musikk, hvem vet? Ting er ok? Ok. The end is never the end. Is never the end. Is loading. New. Ok. Greit. Hvis du har to skjermer, så er borderless ideelt. Eller jeg har bare en. Hvis du ikke tar det med mobilskjermen da. Men jeg tviler jeg start på. Ærlig talt. Jeg er borte vekk. Ah, ja. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Okay. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month Ok, sorry for at jeg avbryter den episke introen, men jeg setter opp lyden litt på spillet. Og jeg tror jeg også har satt til opptak og ikke spilling, så det er derfor jeg... Ja, jeg vet ikke. Sånn, lyden der. Vi får se hvordan jeg blir. Jeg lurer også på... Om det er mulighet å få til... Audio... Closed captioning... Subtitles only, ok. Skal vi begynne på nytt igjen? For at jeg føler at det ødelet litt stemninga. Nå er Hildur Kem veldig stort. Dere blir aldri fornøyd! I alle dager. Ok, se her da. Kan gjøre meg så liten så... Sånn! Er dere ikke fornøyd nå? Nei da. Jeg plasserer meg der. Bare sånn. Vi begynner på nytt igjen. Hva er det å klage nå? Nei da. Øhm, what? Trøkte jeg ikke på å starte på nytt igjen? Jeg vet ikke, jeg vet ikke. Men vi er standlige i alle fall. Her, åh, vi glir nærmest. Øhm. Åh, jeg kan nesten krype under ting. Ok, hva som skjer her da? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Møterommet. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldt find a trace of his co-workers. Mhm, er de ut? 
Er vi liksom under bakken eller noe sånn her? En sånn fake vindu? Ja, ok. Hva står her? Awaiting inputs, ok, greit. Jeg vet ikke om jeg er på rett vei en gang. Stanley kom til et sett av to åpne døren, så åpnet han døren på sin lønn. Hmm. Skal vi høre etter, eller skal vi være bøll? Hør etter, eller er bøll? For vi kan liksom være det å gå gjennom den her. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Oh. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Oh, okay. Um, det var vel det jeg ville, da. Ser ikke ut som det er noen her. Hvordan rom er det her? Det ser ut som de liksom bare har fører herifra. Er det lunsjen? Uuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuuu
först det här. But you're in my story now. Fräcke fan. Okej, okay, kan du vill. This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Jag är inte död. Press Y on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Come and track another. Okay, anything said. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, mm -hmm. except that he's chosen this life. Åtta, ni, sju. Okay, good. In his mind, ah, in his mind he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk. Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful, and each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. You to watch TV? Okay, great. I, I will. Will so he began to will to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work. He stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Ha. Huh. Uh press Y to spend time with the boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice uh -huh. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Hmm. Prepared dinner? As he wandered through this fantasy yeah. world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Okay. It was such a wonderful fantasy. And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path. Must not be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Okay. Um I I got to say. But there is no answer. Oh, wow. How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets, the more he forgets which life is the real one. Go to sleep. And I'm trying to tell him this: that in this world he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this, Stanley. The next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. Skal vi høre efter? For at nu har jeg presset vel mange knapper. Kan man trykke Y i stedet? Nei, ok, greit. Tror dere det bare er den røde pekeren som rører på seg, eller rører de andre pekeren på seg? Jeg vet ikke. Det beste jeg ikke vet noe om spillet. Jeg har sett en let's play for sånn der... Herregud. Med en gang spillet var nytt. Men jeg husker veldig lite til det. Jeg føler at jeg kanskje må trekke på knappen. Du ser. 
Can he just not hear me? A present! Can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? Hard spell? <laughs> Press M to question nothing. Okay, good. I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. Hmm. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey <gasps> this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. Okay. Tried again. Please die. Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried. Um, du kan leve ta med nå. Jeg vet ikke helt. Jeg vet ikke om jeg liker han der fortellerstemmen. Ok, skal vi gjøre som vi får beskjed om? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Mm -hmm. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Mm -hmm. Yet there was not a single person here <laughs> either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Okay, uh, we heard after. Kontoret. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his okay. boss's office. Okay. Okay. Det var ikke der. Hm. Jeg fikk ikke lov til å gå inn på do. Hallo, chef. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this? What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. I, I felt like I saw it. There was then. Um... Talen var... Stanley Hva? just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Mm -hmm. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Um, hva er det da? Vel, jeg setter fast. Hva er det da? Greit. Jeg, jeg setter ikke fast lenger. Altså... Ok, det gikk ikke an å gå lenger. Vi skal ned. Okay. Great. I heard after. Loading, 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 loading. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. Mm. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? when for years it had never occurred to him. Hmm. This question would not go unanswered for long. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, uh. <laughs> I, I have a little bit of a 
Ah, hola. Ah, fuck it. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. I don't know how stor det på dig, Mr. Du sa også at jeg hadde en kone, og så lurer meg. Stanley var ikke skjøtt. Stanley hadde også alle muligheter til å tørne rundt og komme tilbake på trakk. Nei, takk. På dette punkt, Stanley var en konsert, konsertet effort til å gå forward, og vilig å konfrontere hans død. Jeg tror ikke på deg. Øhm... Så kan vi hoppe ned i hølet. Ok. Jeg tror ikke det var et godt valg, var det det? Øhm. As the machine whirred into motion, and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Um. Okay. Can what there? And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Oh, when every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance. Death becomes meaningless, <gasps> making life the same. Had a contour mat. Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Hmm. Death Museum. I all the days. Button sounds. Ha! Fuck this. Maintenance room. Okay. Ha! Okay, the hell. Här är rart. Här är en massa kontor. Okej, okay, det här var en väldigt fin plats då. Monitor room, elevator. Har jag varit där? Freedom ending? What? Uh, countdown desk, okay. Men ska jag läsa så spoiler av tänkt att säga här? Sending levers. Okej, okay. rätt. Det här är lite rart. Men jeg, li jeg liker det, egentlig. Hæ? Ok, så der går vi bare opp igjen, tror jeg. 
credits. Great. Oh, there we. Have we got the running? Det har varit en liten mycket kul om det har varit sista man har förne, det är sant. Kan jag gå tillbaka? Nej. Hur ska han då? Så går andra vägen då. För det var där ifrån jag kom. Oh ja, ok, grett. Jeg hadde feil. Hører han bare så vidt? Øhm... For det var jo ikke noe mer jeg kunne gjøre der. Jeg vet ikke, det virket ikke som at det var noe som skjedde der. Så jeg er litt usikker hvor jeg skal her. Der er office-klokken. For inn her... Åh! Masse trailere, greit. Interessant. Meeting room. Two options. Ha! Timer. Wow, ok, greit. Uh, det här har vi ju varit för. Gick vi hit då? Hmm. Jeg er sikkert hva jeg skal gjøre, for å være helt ærlig. Kan jeg restarte spillet? Nei, her kanskje? Oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? Well, let's say anything. No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now. That will be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time choose for you. Sprats. Um, so I know someone who wins spell or avslut spell. Okay. Um, I do for all the now. Ting er bare svart.
begin the game again? Jeg vet ikke. Jeg tror ikke jeg skulle så vente i evigheten. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, mm -hmm. he entered the door on his left. I ska vara en flink Stanley nu. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Vad sker om jag går ner här? Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He can be the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Mm -hmm. All because he believed everyone had vanished. Oh. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Mm -hmm. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And well, as Stanley it... pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet mm -hmm. when he looked down? Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Mm -hmm. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. <laughs> this is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. Mm -hmm. So he imagined himself flying and began to gently float <gasps> off the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Mm -hmm. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. And while he thought it all very odd, and wondered if this voice spoke to all people in awesome. their dreams, the truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself, believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hmm. hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? Mm -hmm. How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. Had all I want that? is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. 
I am normal. Everything will be fine. I mm. am okay. Är vi egentligen det? Nope. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Okay. <laughs> this is the story of a woman named Mariella. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular yeah, day, day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Mm -hmm. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. And by extension, the rest of her life. She huh. had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Okay. Är vi Mariella nu? Nej. Rätt. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, ska vi göra allt det punkt och pricka nu? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Nope. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an arc. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked <coughs> upstairs to his boss's office. Jag är allt för rask för Hallå! Jag är här igen. Åh, oh, det är klädd. Jag är snill Stanley nu. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover no indication of any human life. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. <laughs> he began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin. Stanley was in such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, <laughs> he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. <laughs> that kind of anxiety isn't healthy. So uh. he relaxed for a few moments with some calming New Age music. Talk. Det, det var som partially irriterandes. Um. Feeling soon and rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward um. into the opened passageway. I get a little bit worried, but okay. Whee! Uh, vest okay for us now. Tar och inlöser sån kanal på en och sån här så måste du skriva där för att det dukar inte upp på mobilen till mig. Så jag står och läser strax på mig eller dräck eller nåt sån här. Stanley walked straight ahead mm -hmm. through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Mhm. Mm uh, mm -mm. Kortle. 
The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible oh. secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Oh yes. Vi är en snill par <laughs> snill parable, tänkte jag säga, snill Stanley. Hör på han eller så blir han sur. Okej. Okay. Ja, där. Now the monitors jump to life. Their true nature oh. revealed. Det är någon som är fired. Number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers. The mm. lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Kommer bara snur med går härifrån. Jag tror dörra kanske är stängt men This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Helt säkert. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. Well. It was unthinkable, oh. wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof, the heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he <laughs> would dismantle the controls once and for all. Okay, great. Resist the authority. Oh yes, cool. Um. Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? Yes. He had won. He uh. had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. And yet, even oh, as the go. immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? How hmm. had he been freed from the machine's grasp? What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Perhaps his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do, or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Oh, that was all that that so fint to It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Kom jag inte vill då. Okej då, grett. Det 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 ser så kul ut. Stanley felt the cool breeze <laughs> upon his skin. The feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Okay. Beat the game, fick jag. Du må vänt nu. Kan ska vänt på? Aha. Vad lägger jag här igen? Hello. This is a 
private message scheduled either by you or person in your place of work. The purpose of this message is to warn you about the dangers of recorded messages. If at any time you believe you are listening to a recorded message, please terminate it immediately and cease all flow of information from the recorded message into your perceptual sphere. Thank you. Oh, okay, great. Han snakke ikke med oss nå. Jeg har en sur på oss. When Stanley came to oh, okay, set to open door, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just mm -hmm. to admire it. Wow, yes, this room. But eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. I think I went to the last one. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. <laughs> he wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um... From here, it's um left. Okay, da great. Hilde jobber for frihet, men når hun får det, takker hun nei. Eller var det? No, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? Nei, se det du! What was I thinking? It's clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Jeg er bare stuck her. Hallo, Tristan! Jeg er enda med i Sio Co. Let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Jeg tror vi har råd til å ha sport. Yep, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Men det... Ok, jeg må vel ned her da. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Ok, 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 we just, we just have to get back to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. Sorry. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Okay, great. Men uh, All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Nej, säg det du. He decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ska prova att springa ifrån. Men jag tror jag tror inte det går. When stand it Wait. Wait. What? Huh? No. I no, I restarted. I swear I definitely restarted the game <laughs> over completely fresh. Everything should be Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere? Or did you move the story? On? Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come Stanley, let's find the story. Uh, uh. Ok, så de, de her to han har vi prøvd før. Jeg kan ikke komme gjennom her, tror jeg ikke, men... Jeg kan gå sånn. Hvor er historien han, da? Å oh, nei! Å oh, nei, jeg får flashback fra når jeg sprang rundt opp med det bilen. Jeg sier det. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Nej då. Det är unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. Nej, det är en skumla platsen. Okay, oh. let's give it a shot. Why not? Yep. Okay, great. Hilda blir mer och mer förvirrad. Yes. All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could, could it, it mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Kan vi bare gå tilbake til kontoret mitt? 
Kom jag inte ha lust ut på äventyr. Oh, ja. Grät. Står det hur farted på en koppen där? Wow. Okej. Okay. Vi, vi får se vad som sker. Uh, det är inte några dörrar här. Aha. Uh -huh. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Okej, okay, grett. Det, det, det var ju egentligen det jag prövade på i stan, men uh, jag tänkte att man kom att bli sint på mig så jag bara fortsatte att vara på kontoret mitt. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. Uh. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Aha. Men det har inte någon varna valgen och här att läggs. Ehm, Mister. Asså. Now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing. Go at the back of the Benelson. You win! Congratulations! Wee! Okay, great, great. You put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, hop it, window. Oh no. I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. Yep. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Det såg ut som någon sån här seriemorderplass på kontoret. Hopp ut vinduet. The Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Then I tell my girl. Oh my God! Okay. All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Okay, great. Just follow the line. How simple is that? <laughs> you see, TM. the line knows where the story is. Okay. It's in this direction. Onward, Stanley, Whee. to destiny. No, here's a thought. Wouldn't Whee. wherever we end up be our destination, Whee. even if there's no story there? Whee. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Um. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Uh -huh. I'd like to apologize. Sure, where I was going with all that. I felt about a linear. I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. then was super happy. the music go back and look at that fern Kossen vet du att jag är väldigt glad i Bregna Ehm um. Stanley this fern will be very important oh, okay. later in the story Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully You won't want to miss anything Okej okay, den var vacker jag liker den Kan du sätta på musiken igen Ta 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 we're back at the office? Uh-huh. No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story <laughs> is any... Uh, oh, wow. No, 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 not again. Line, how could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after mm -hmm. everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. <laughs> Restart. Wow. Mm. 
Ska vi följa linja? Hopp genom vinduet på kontoret. Här vinduet alltså. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Nej, det kan du säga. Right? Why can't we make up our own story? Mm -hmm. Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All this all sounds perfectly doable. Why mm -hmm. don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Ok, grett. Var ikke det her et kontor, egentlig? Kom! Hmm. Det er ikke så mye jeg kan gjøre, egentlig. Jeg savner... Nå, yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. Jeg vil ha en gjørning, ja. Oh no, not you again. Stanley. <laughs> Den har like sig. Beto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. And we should be fine. Ehm, uh, jag vet inte helt. Jag missar den. Den är lite sån överallt. Oh. Den den får upp i taket. Hur är en görning av mina? A choice. We get to make a decision. From here the story is in our control. How important hmm. we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? Sikkert. Since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. The confusing and... Oh, hold up, what's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me... That's what this is. It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight eight times? That's After really a long time, Stanley game. dies. It's all determined. Find the book so now, According to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing wall. Hm. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Great. And the time return stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, <laughs> okay. I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? Uh. I'm not sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Okay! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Mm -hmm. we, we som vi får beskjed. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Selvfølgelig. Oh, nei, de er ikke her. There was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Det er en 
någon då som har en pistol mot hodet sitt. Uh. <laughs> Så korsle då. Stanley drev og nynne. Jeg hører liksom noe i bakgrunnen. Altså, det tog litt tid det her da. Får vi bare gjøre som vi har fått på skjønn, da. Ok, jeg tror vi alle vet drill by nå. Bla bla bla, dark secrets, the keypad, Stanley pusher some buttons. Oh, hey, look, it's a new passageway. Ah, jeg bommet. Kjell surprise. Det var veldig ekkert å se hvor jeg skulle trøkke den. Sånn. Det er ikke noe her borte, ja. Du 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 Ska vi Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I can't go out here from here. Did you see anything new? An enormous room packed with television screens. Uh huh. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Jeg prøver veldig ofte å hoppe, men det funker ikke. For vil det skje noe annerledes nå, liksom? Nå er de monitorene som kommer til livet. Deres true nature er revealed. Hver bor det nummer av en ansvarlig i byen. Stanleys co-workers. De livene av så mange individuer er reduset til imager på en skjern. Og Stanley, en av dem, er eternelig monitorene i denne plassen hvor fred... Det står noe rødt der borte. Og ja, det er en annen skjerm, greit. Kan ikke gå tilbake, greit. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Mm -hmm. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? Velg motsatt på slutten. No. He refused to believe it. Ah, sant det. Knapp han. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? 
But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy mm -hmm. or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Hmm. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. That must have been not far now. What do they do actually? Can we? En til fem. Greit, det er fem. Hvor er tre han da? Her er tre. Fire. Det er oppe. Nå er jeg spent. Kanskje det ikke skjer noen ting. Kanskje det er troll. Um, det skjedde ingenting. Kanskje jeg ikke skulle ha trøkt på den nummer 5 først. Skal jeg prøve igjen? Eller kanskje jeg var for treg. Jeg vet ikke om du troller eller ikke noe sadness. Men jeg uh, hører etter. Ok, ingenting skjedde. Wow. Jeg hører forskjellen på lydene, ja. And when at last he found the source of... Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the control. <laughs> After being uh, kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Mm-hmm. Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire <sighs> complex. Los. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more difficult, <laughs> Stanley. It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I um. had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co-workers are. A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. Dem lager jo en del lyd, men altså... I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. 
I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. <coughs> I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds, Stanley. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going <laughs> or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea hmm. what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're <laughs> powerless to see you made. Cool. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world that I hope you're paying because I help you by buying some. Destroyed first, so you can't. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to strike. 30 ah. seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Okay. Great. Great. Lars Scherman. Okay. Great. For sent. I saw but I was a two third for Scherman, eh? Hello. Good morning. Thank you for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. We are okay. confirming your shipment of 1,327 cardboard boxes to your place of work. Mm. Can you verify that this is correct? Excellent. Your order will arrive shortly. Thank you again for contacting the Future Happiness Foundation. Bara hygle. Um, har en snakke ikke med mig længere. Jeg tror jeg liker det. When Stanley came to a set of two open, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Jeg begyndte at tænke, er det nok at fask med faskvis end jeg havde? Sublime, a work of art, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps... But in his eagerness <laughs> to prove that he is in control of the story and no one gets to tell him what to do, Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful. Tack, tack. Höjde er rett frem? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oh wow! Stanley decided to the go to the meeting. Alt. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I think he used it to guide me to the right way. Well, that way I'm not going to fall down. When Stanley came to a full set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Put rampen. Oh yeah, okay. Sorry. Okay. 
Men jag lurer lite på vad som är er poängen med hejsen där. Äntligen som upp här uansett. Here's the door, just go. <laughs> jag tror han är lejd av oss, stackars. <laughs> Ikke till <til> din död. <laughs> ja men jag ville bara höra vad han sa. Okej. Okay. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Bjarne liksom säger något nytt för det att jag valt oss nu. Kan vet. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Now the monitors jumped to life, yeah, 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 yeah. their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? No, he refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Mm -hmm. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, det det, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in. Stanley decided Men, uh, that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and hmm. for all. I don't know how we can see if we get this, for I'm not so smart. Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the control, oh, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Mm -hmm. Control? Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls mm -hmm. off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent. Last Sherman suddenly Dam? realized he had just initiated the Eller network's emergency had. detonation system. In the event that this machine had is well, but, uh, without proper DNA mm -hmm. identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. What all this means? I barely know where to start. What's that? Oh, the alt for my knapper. 
A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them. I turned off the machine. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let the office sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn to a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite oh, okay, I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. You know what? To hell with it. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? These are precious additional seconds. Hmm. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to okay. be doing right now? Okay, lose the you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones, or maybe this big red button. Or this door. Anything, anything. Something here will save me. Um. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One sold? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? But do you really believe there's an answer? How many times will you replay this bit, looking desperately for a solution? Ten? Mm -hmm. A hundred? A thousand? I look forward to finding out and to watching the bomb go off each time you fail. Just you and me and a wretching explosion of fire and metal over and over and over for all of eternity. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. And Stanley died again. Okay. Take a look at the clock, Stanley. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. Goodbye. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice? Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And believe me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say happily ever up. Um Okay. I shunt ingen thing to the som var på skärmen. Alt for massa knappar. For lyseblå stod det en på, og det er papir overalt. Um, og så blå stod det tre på noen gang. Men så når jeg for dit jeg trodde jeg skulle skrive dem inn, så... Det vet jeg ikke helt. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. Mm -hmm. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Hvorfor er det papir overalt? Um. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, nope. this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and right. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mm -hmm. in this incredible room, Stanley for the first time, but eager to get back to business, <laughs> Stanley took the first open door on his left. Um, jeg vil ha dit, høyre og så rett so fram. Var det ikke det du sa, Tedro, tror jeg? Inn dit? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps mm. we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else is uh, um, difficult, but the fact is that the story okay, is so not the same as the other one. Okay, so now that I'm ready, so I'll hop up. Sure. Neglecting Stanley. <laughs> really? I was in the middle of it. You have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yep. Oh, I I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, 
Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Okay. Give me a chance. Give me an yearning. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked mm. through the red door. I don't know what I'm going to do. Blah. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think you're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine, go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. Um. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you oh. were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this mm. what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for <laughs> you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the Sorry. end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Aww. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already <gasps> feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Oh okay. my god. I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. I, I ask you that. Benefited from allowing you more choices. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do these flashes of inspiration mm -hmm. come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Say well, that. It's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really <laughs> couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I, I felt it in my soul. You can't mm -hmm. teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, okay. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to uh -huh. be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Okay. Um. <gasps> Leaderboard. Wow. Um. Tror du jeg er der? <laughs> wow. Well, first I go. Let me find in here. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through Oh, doors? yes. Again, honest answers, please. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Neither. Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. And if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So oh. why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh, for a frightful lead, bare, bare brenn, was so snell. You heartless man. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely just like me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? Skyrim? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Uh huh. <gasps> well, Stanley, is this any better? Yeah. Alas, the one thing you've all well, like I hope. A game I had absolutely nothing to do. <laughs> but is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Well, I'll say this. I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. <laughs> this will go here. No. <laughs> Hello, Sodion. I'm <laughs> on Let's see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off, yes, it's complete. I made this standing. <laughs> Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Ah, oh, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. Okay, thank Isn't it grand? I like a dirt house that. It could only be better if... Wait, that's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Hmm. Okay. Could we go mine him? Oh. I heard a Minecraft oh music. My. It looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? No. Oh, that's the gamle texture on. Ah, yeah, we have to go near Merke. Oh no 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 no! This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Uh, I will not eat fish. So trist. <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Portal. You, trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. Your forte. Hey. Genius. <laughs> wow. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. I really don't care ah. much to see you stumble through any more of these games. Oh, well. Jeg liker ikke hva du har gjort med spillet. Ok, det her var veldig mørkt. Hva skjer hvis jeg går ned her? Jeg vet ikke om jeg vil finne ut. Ok, jeg tror jeg må ned. Hallo. Er dokker ehm er det noen her? Åh, jeg ser lys. Det gir meg håp. Åh, kontoret mitt, tror jeg. Nei. Hva er det her for noe? Jeg kan ikke gjøre noen ting. Greit. Jeg... I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in 
wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. I hope he learned something. I was trying to tell him he needs me, someone who will wrap everything up in the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Okay. Oh, yes. yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Um. Okay. Stanley knew the office layout like the back of his hand. It was only a matter of time before he found the others, wherever they were. Just a matter of time. Come up, Astor, huh? Let's see. How soon are you there, though? I have it very well. I I I like this ball here very much. Um. Efter at jeg strømmer, så skal jeg skrive en jobbsøknad, så det blir jo gøy. Det virker ikke som at han blir sur på meg. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door and left. Vi tog aldrig en röd dörr. This was not a direct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Mhm. Stanley felt lightheaded, butterflies in his stomach, giddy in a way he had never known before. Was it that? But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really. I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you forgot. Bullshit. Really? I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you mm -hmm. that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Yep. Well, I, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you. To show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Okay, let's go with the red door. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh, thank God you are willing to <laughs> Do you see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time? The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running, just the way you're doing right now. Don't you see that it's killing us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would, we would both be so much happier if we just stopped. Um. And I think, well, I think I have a solution. Here, let me show you. Uh, that must go my room. I tell you. Okay, great. What are we looking for? Hmm? <gasps> Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> hmm. Well, what? May I get Penta? Det er som å være inne i et nordlys, liksom. Åh, wow. 
well. Hmm. Okay, I must say a little here. That was very pant. Oh! Hver gang jeg prøver å gå til døra, så kommer det nye ting. Sorry. Jeg er nysgjerrig. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Det går bra. Jeg vet hvem hit. Please, no, Stanley. Let me stay here. Don't take this from me. No. Um. Kan jeg som sier hvis vi går tilbake igjen, da? Bjørn glad igjen, da. Oh my god! Good, good. We can't be too safe. Promise me you won't go back there, hmm? Just, just stay here. Okay, I thought it was lamped, man. I'm on. No, what do we talk about? You're risking everything we achieved here. Hmm. You heard me before, didn't you? You will die. What about this? Isn't getting through to you? I had that many times. The good, bro. Please, Stanley, think of no. Oh. Yeah. Thank God. You lived. Okay, we can go to back there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? There, see, this is what you want. Can't we hope food for her? Both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Um. All. Det fine dildallet forsvinner. Stjernen er her nå. Åh, ok. Vi prøver å hoppe ned her. Nei, vi får ikke lov. Greit. Men, ehm... Stanley, gå tilbake. Det er ikke noe godt som kan komme fra dette. Altså... No, 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 what are you doing? Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? We can't, we can't be there in every time. That's why we have to be late to the fine grand. Stanley, let's go back to the other room. My God, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself on this platform over and over to be rid of it? Are you willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy? Am I reading the situation correctly? Or maybe you're just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along. But I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Aww. Oh, how do you do some with the hats? Stanley had never seen the office this brightly lit. Was it a sign of something? He hoped it was. He hoped very much that it was. I just need to see if I can come in through the window. If it's possible. Et av de to første kontorene. 
för här kör jag ingenting. Här kör det heller ingenting. Jag vet inte. Jag fick mig i alla fall lite igenom stitta någon speciell mat om man gör det på eller liksom. Jag tror det var någon som sa något om att man kunde göra det när kontoret var liksom helt resatt eller åt över. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first just to admire it. Kanske. Det är ett vitt vindu. The lounge was grand. Majestic, perhaps too majestic, like a combination of a much smaller version and a much larger version of this exact room. It all made Stanley uncomfortable, and he started to bleed a little. This made him smile. At last, proof that he was human. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else is difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please. Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me. I'm asking for her. Mm-hmm. For who, yeah. Is it, Stanley? Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's mm. been waiting. Elsa. Oh, That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Did you just unplug the phone? Yeah. Well, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Oh, wow. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Bullshit. Picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Um. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. Okay. And if used incorrectly, can also be the most dangerous. Okay. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Steven the has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. <laughs> Which choice would you make? Remember um. that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. 
If you find yourself speaking with a person who Fish. does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn okay. to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. A back sack and... Okay. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the uh, best part to a healthy decision-making process. Uh, so. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight <laughs> choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Okay. Ah, welcome back. Uh, you may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This okay. way, please. Tack. Um. Ska vi tillbaka här? Now that we know you're <laughs> for, we can't have you jumping off oh, the wow. and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. Mm. That story would make no sense at all. We uh. just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. Hmm. Can I in here? Oh. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. On the left. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. Okay. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Er litt fristet til å ta høyre. Hvis nok er jo ikke Stanley, så... No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Oh, okay, great. Oh, it's ruined. <laughs> I can't believe after everything we talked about that you... My story, you've destroyed my work. Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worth this now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? Um, I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Um, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, no. okay, good. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. I have to. Um, man. So clever. Now look where we are. 
My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine, and you run it into the ground. What did you think that would be funny? <laughs> you just had to see. Well, yeah. Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world nope. outside of you. You're a child. I can only. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It well, would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite okay. sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Skal bare taste vinduet. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up mm -hmm. to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, <laughs> he walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ting, ting er for andra her. Kan vi gå in på do nu? Nej. Kom hejsen. Nej. Um. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this, until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers mm. to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Uh, <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night he Shark 115. The right there on the wall. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Men jeg, jeg vet ikke hvordan... Ok, fine, you're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you oh, yeah. didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Um. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. The end? Are you listening to me? No. Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Oh. This is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? <laughs> the choice you make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. <laughs> Choose. Do something. Aww. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. Mm. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to this. 
decide. Oh. To make sure your choice is correct, that is the best choice. And her is a trist. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Hmm. Um all of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. Jag vet inte. Det är en person där. Jag såg en person. Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Det var en person där. Advance the story in any way. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Also, um, Mister. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. The duct tape pad. There was nothing here. No choice to make, no path to follow, just an empty mm. broom closet. No reason to still be here. Feeling that Stanley was still just sitting in the broom closet, he wasn't even doing anything. At least, if there was something to interact with, he'd be justified in some way. As it is, he's literally just standing there doing sweet FA. <laughs> are you are you really still in the <laughs> broom closet, standing around doing nothing? Why? Please offer me some explanation here. I'm I'm genuinely confused. You do realize there's no choice or anything in here, right? If I'd said Stanley walked past the broom closet, at least you would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet is of absolutely no significance to the story whatsoever. I never would have thought to mention it. Hmm. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was my favorite." <laughs> I hope your friends find this concerning. Well, they are unsigured. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. <laughs> he probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That or oh, the wow. drug money. Also, mm. Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. Oh yes, for life. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here when a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed. <laughs> Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. 
Hello? Anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. <laughs> he or she has fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place at the computer, making ah. sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and filling them in on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game <laughs> is not lost on them. Yeah. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Kan jag inte göra det då? Börjar han bara och köka ännu mer? Jeg vet ikke helt. Jeg rører jo på meg, så jeg lever jo. Kan jeg få ta med meg en uh, skiftnøkkel, i alle fall? Åh, oh, det er en stiftmaskin. Det er noe oransje ting igjen. Kan jeg gå ut i gang igjen? Uh, second player, it's good to have you on board. I guarantee... You can't do any worse than the per- You too? <laughs> I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. A fish? Fungus? Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walks Nei. upstairs to his boss's office. Oh, I can go on there. Oh, no. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. All of my co-workers were in existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. Mm -hmm. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? Mm -hmm. Why did doors close automatically behind him wherever he went? And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, <laughs> he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So. He imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marveled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself soon. Den här virker som att den är akkurat som voice in my head dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. Jag savnar den där gula stripa av musiken här. I wondered if this voice spoke to all people in their dreams. The truth was that of course this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself? Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. 
Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him float and make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too, surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control, that this was a dream. So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. He felt the cool hmm. weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons. Please, it's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. My life is normal. I am normal. Everything will be fine. Dekte. I am okay. Vi er ikke okay. Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone mm -hmm. tell me I am real. I must be real. I must be. Can anyone hear my voice? Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that video started. This is the story of a woman no. named Mariella. Mm, we have Mariella met woke up on a day like any other. She arose, skip, dressed, skip. <laughs> gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy, this much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this. And in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career. Mm -hmm. and by extension, the rest of her life. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body. And then she turned and ran. Okay, had it good. The alternative was to get the other side of the body. Yeah. Kommer bare blir her inne. But Stanley simply couldn't mm -hmm. handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had mm -hmm. never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. Mm -hmm. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. Mm -hmm. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure beyond any doubt was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Uh, okay. Quite normal. I can't That's wait to tell this story to my co-workers, Stanley thought. How amusing they'll find it. Oh, won't we all just laugh and laugh at the time I thought everyone had gone missing. 
Men jeg så en person her en gang. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. Jeg husker ikke lenger hvordan man fant denne linja. Jeg tror man bare måtte irritere han nok. Når Stanley kom til en åpen dør, så kom han til den ene døren. Dette var ikke den riktige døren til møtingsrommet, og Stanley kjente det veldig godt. Kanskje han ville stoppe ved den åpne døren først, bare for å admire det. Hva om jeg blir liksom den loungen i evigheten? Og her var det. The lounge. What a room, Stan thought to himself. What a room, what a room, what a room. This is what Stanley thought. What a room. What a room, what a room. What a room. Va va voom. What a room. Yes. Really, really nice being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating. That even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Mm -hmm. Really worth it. At this point, Stanley's obsession with this room bordered on creepy and reflected poorly on his overall personality. It's possible that this is why everyone left. Well. Venstre så heisne, kanskje. Jeg vil se. Stanley satt rundt og ventet for mer dialog. Men når en lang tid hadde passet og det ikke var noe mer, så besluttet han at spillet ville prøve å sende ham en melding. Hvor lenge må vi vente? Tror dere han blir irritert? Eller er det faktisk sant? At han ikke begynner å si noe mer nå? Hmm. Hvem vet? Hvis jeg hadde spilt det her alene, så kunne jeg bare sett det her i ti minutter, liksom. Men, ehm... Det blir litt kjedelig for dere. Men først, han hadde nok av det amazing rom. Han tok den første åpne døren i sin løp for å gå tilbake til business. Og så han detoret gjennom den maintenance-seksjonen, gikk straks ned til den opposite døren, og gikk tilbake på trakk. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, from here it's, um, oh no, no, it's to the right, my mistake. No, 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 not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? It's clearly, oh dear, would you hold on for a minute? Let's see, we went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story okay. is absolutely, definitely this way. Are you sure about that? For that's okay. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to um. Oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Hmm. Okay, from the top. Oh, Ingen Gurlin, yeah. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. When Stanley... Wait, 
Wait, what? <laughs> no, I'm, no, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Mm -hmm. Did you move the story somewhere or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Det er vel kanskje... Ok, den kommer snart. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you <laughs> there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better <laughs> than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Okay. Ing ingen linje nå heller. All of his co-workers were gone. What, what could it could mean? mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Vi får se. Aha! I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. The story. No, wait, never mind. <laughs> Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Mm-hmm. Now this... Well, I'll be honest, I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! Yay. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh no, no, I don't feel right about this at all. We both mm -hmm. know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. Yay! All right, I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Okay. Spell a cabal. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Though, here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Mm -hmm. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is in fact a byproduct of one subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. 
Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. <coughs> Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. Oh, so it's nowhere. Jag har en läsa om att uppdaga att hmm. Väl, det är en väldigt fin sång då, så jag ska inte klara ut. Den var lite hög då. Sånn for min del. Det virker ikke som at han legger merke til at jeg ikke følger med. strike up over another head. Mm. And all Louis plus you can find another way, I'm sure. Wait, cut the music, go back and look at that fern. Nay, I will like a sap on. Wait, but we're back at the office? No, no, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Prøv meg på vinduene hele tiden. Hmm. Jeg vet ikke, jeg tr tror uh, spillet har gitt opp. Eller? Må jeg tenke? Hvor der er kontoret? Vi kom herifra, jo vi ikke det? Jo, jeg tror det. Se der, ja. Oh, no, 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 no,
Well, I can't take this anymore to hell with it. Restart. Well, I thought I would like it out of Tristan, so I I get for sure on that. Um, I think I have to. What's there, Mia? I say, forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? Intelligent people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Nope, I'm blue head. I think it's a triggast. Shall we show that? Så ja. Hvis musikken er i spillet, så kan de vel ikke akkurat gi den copyright strike? Jo, det kan de. Det er de flinke til. Den forrige streamen jeg hadde, som jeg la ut, så hadde den en liten intro, hvor de liksom forklarte hva spillet gikk ut på og sånn der. Den var copyright strike. Men det har ingen påvirkelse på kanalen min eller videoen. Det er bare at jeg kan ikke tjene peng på akkurat den videoen. Og jeg tjener ikke peng på reklamer på YouTube uansett. Så det er liksom det er ikke så farlig kan man si. Det er litt idiotisk men samtidig så kan jeg skjønne det fordi at veldig ofte så er jo sanger som blir brukt i spill. Enten så har de kjøpt lisens så noen andre har laget den sangen, og så har de kjøpt lov til å bruke den. Og jeg har jo ikke betalt lisens for å ha den sangen i videoen. Så ja, så det går automatisk, og det er jo en ting. Det er ikke en person som liksom går gjennom tusen timer med videoer hver dag og bare, ah, nei, her er en copyright-sang. Det går automatisk. Men stort sett hvis man liksom skrur ned musikklyden, snakker over det og sånn der type ting, så går det stort sett greit. Men når det er for eksempel en intro hvor de setter og forteller basically storyen og sånn der, så kan jo ikke du sette og bare kauk, sant? Det ødelegger jo litt stemninga, så da tar jeg heller en copyright strike. Men jeg bruker vanligvis å skru ned musikklyden i spill. Men på det her så kunne jeg ikke skru ned musikklyden. Jeg kunne bare skru ned selve lyden. Så det var liksom... Ja, jeg vet ikke. Men vi får se, kanskje. Fordi at hvis det er en sang... Jeg så i denne kreditscena så var det nok å sange som var copyright free. Men akkurat det der vet jeg ikke om det er noe de har laget selv, eller om de har kjøpt lisens, eller om den er copyright free. Blant annet den der heismusikken, den kjente jeg igjen, den er ikke copyright på. Så den går greit. Men men, det går bra. Neste stream jeg skal ha, det blir på lørdagen. Da skal jeg spille Minecraft. Jeg skal spille på lagunserveren, .no. Hvis jeg skriver sånn, kommer det opp da? Jopp. Det er Minecraft-serveren til meg og en som heter Kenneth. Så jeg skal spille derifra på lørdagen. Og det er artig om det er som flere folk er med og ser på og blir med og spiller. Det går veldig bra med serveren. Det er en ny ny server. Så ny spawn, nytt kart, nye minigames, nye quester. Nå har vi adventskalender med quester, så jeg tror det er nye quest hver dag, eller noe sånt. Så ja, jeg lurer på om jeg har fått mascara under øynene, for det er veldig mørk under, men jeg... Kanskje er det bare jeg som er naturlig mørk under øynene. Det var mulig. Artig å se det spilles som Stanley. Vel, det var artig å faktisk prøve det spillet her. Fordi at jeg hadde egentlig vestet at det her er et spillet kom til å like. Humoren minner meg litt om liksom Hikerens Guide til Galaxen. Av en eller annen grunn. Og det er jo en av mine favorittbøker. 
<laughs> så ja. Uh, for en god stund siden så hadde vi en samtale angående det. At serveren var ned. Ah, ok. Det kan jeg ikke huske en gang. Men det er sikkert en stund siden. Plus jeg er gammel, så... Så ja. Mm, ja. Men da har jeg egentlig snakket fra meg for i dag, da. Um, jeg skal gå og skrive en jobbsøknad og skrive inn, skrive inn den. Send inn den. Uh, så snakkes vi neste stream. Ha det bra!